three verses aren't in my Bible. I need answers. Finally, an honest Christian telling the truth. That's what's up. Okay. I got my King James Version, and all three verses that she named are in this Bible. She mentioned Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. It is in my Bible. She mentioned Matthew 18, 11. It is in my Bible. Oh, looky there, son of man, not son of God. And last but not least, we got Matthew 23, 14. It is in my Bible. She -boop. I have been Christian my entire life until I was 25 years old, and I discovered Islam after so many years of praying to the Father to guide me in the name of Jesus. Um, Islam is the truth. Read the Holy Quran that was sent to the final prophet. Jesus is not the Son of God. This book has been corrupted. Come on, Christians. It's time to say your Shahada. I bear witness. Okay, we'll do that later. But Islam is the truth. How to debunk the Trinity in less than 30 seconds. Okay, so the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are each 100% God. That means they should have 100% of the attributes of God. So question for Christians, is Jesus independent of God the Father or dependent on God the Father? If he's independent of God the Father, that's two ultimate independent existences, meaning two gods. If Jesus is dependent on God the Father, he cannot be 100% God, as God is 100% independent. So which do you prefer? I agree. Assalamu alaikum. Whoever claimed that Christianity is a monotheistic religion? I mean, if Hinduism says that there is a million gods that are all in one, then what makes three in one any different? Is Christ God? Yes, he Does he is. know everything? He knows everything. Okay. Yes, he's okay. So when the Bible says that Jesus didn't know the hour, does that he mean... He doesn't know Mar the, Only the Father you, knows the hour. So then he doesn't know everything. Well, he, you he, just said he knows he, everything. He said Look. the Father is greater than I. Okay, so he then the Father is God. Okay, so we have the no, we have the Holy Trinity with the Father, Jesus, and the Holy. Are Spirit. they equal? No, the Father is greater. Jesus. Do you said. believe that? <laughs> Are they equal? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I I, I'm, I'm in a conversation, sir. Right. Please, do you believe that? They're all God. Are they all equal? Are they all equal? You're not answering my question. Well, Jesus says that you Father said they're not equal. I got you. Jesus but you, as a Christian, do you believe they're equal or not? Are they co equal, the Trinity? Yes, so now you two Christians are giving me two a different answer. It's the mystery uh -uh. of the whole. <laughs> the God is not the author of confusion. So you guys are enjoying my content, but you are not subscribed. Please consider subscribing and don't forget to like this video. Jazakallah khair. I have to respond to some stuff you said was not factual data. When you say, er, so you Chaldean, started the it's my turn to talk now because you said some stuff is not true. Sorry. History. Ur Chaldeans, everybody knows the Fertile Crescent Abraham was not Muslim. Abraham, the Fertile Crescent of Ur Chaldeans, that he was not Muslim. Muslim was not invented them, so he's not a Muslim because Muhammad came. You got Jesus before Muhammad and he missed. So that's wrong. When you say, let's facts, go history. Abraham was the Ur of the Chaldeans, the Fertile Civilization, so that's not true check out that's not true brother sorry because islam came after jesus number two according to your book that he was not here and i say the beginning of genesis to the imam the beginning of genesis islam came after jesus christ what it's another religion much older than the other religion well there are many there are many religions but we but we believe the only the religion from adam peace be upon him till the prophet muhammad peace be upon him is islam why because what did jesus come with jesus didn't come with christianity this is why when you hear Muslims say Jesus was a Muslim, for example, or Abraham was a Muslim. We, the word Muslim means a person who submits their will to the will of that one true God. And that's what Jesus said. Not my will, but, but thou will shall be done. He didn't come to do his own will. He did the will of the Father. Abraham, Moses did the will of God. The Prophet Muhammad did the will of God as well. So they all came with that same core message, which we call Islam. Submission to that one one true message. Uh -huh, this is the tactic that Christians like to play on Muslims in terms of this timeline thing that they have in their head. Um, basically, they are claiming that uh, Islam never existed before, you know, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu And therefore, there's no way that Jesus or Isa Alayhi Salam could be a Muslim. Now, if, if one really understands it, then anyone who submits themselves to the one true God, Allah, uh, makes that person a Muslim. Of course, with that submission comes the... Uh, living one's life to, to, to the way God, Allah, wants you to live, right? Following his commandments, his laws, and so forth. Um, and so, you know, all of the prophets, uh, peace be upon all of them, lived their lives in accordance to what Allah wills. And therefore, that makes them Muslim.
And on that note, guys, Jazakallah Khair for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, and if it is that you enjoy my content, definitely subscribe. Jazakallah Khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.